So you want to get good at Demon Souls, but every time you try to take down the Storm King, the Storm Beast just shoot you over and over again with those spears. Well, don't worry. There's a good way to tackle this area. So we're going to head on in. Now the easiest way to tackle this area is from this side, but we need to get across the map and pick up that uh, Storm Ruler Sword. So truck it on over there. It's going to be at the far end of the map over here, right by the Crystal Lizards. Once you pick up that Storm Ruler, you're going to go ahead and equip it. And then we're going to run all the way back to the beginning. This is what makes this area easy. Working from this side, you're going to have a much easier time. They're going to come at you one to two at a time. And it's really going to be a lot easier than trying to kill all of these storm beasts. I call them manas. They just look like flying mana rays to me, but what do I know? Uh, it's going to be a lot easier to take them out from up here because they're going to come at you a few at a time versus trying to take them out at the bottom. You're going to get circled. And even though you can keep, you know, a couple of the close ones in your field of view, a couple of them are going to sneak up behind you and really do a lot of damage. So just slowly, methodically work your way through here. Make sure you sidestep a lot. Anytime you have more than one in range, you want to try to keep them both in your field of view. Keep them from shooting you from two different sides. Uh, Sidestep and strafing is going to be your best bet. You'll notice with the animation when you let go, if you fire it at just the right time, you'll actually step forward right as the projectile is coming in and it'll miss you completely. So as you're starting to get all of them dead, you come down here, we're going to take care of the last one. The Storm King is going to start moving in pretty quick once you get about two of these left. There we go, there's the last one. We're going to head back this way because we're going to need some room to maneuver to roll. So he'll fire all of his javelins out, and then right as they come in, you're going to take a couple of rolls here. There may be a few stragglers, so keep an eye on those. Then you turn around and hit your Storm Ruler R1 attack. You'll notice there's multiple lock-on points for this boss so as he goes by you can always get at least three hits you start with his head then you move to the center of his body and then you move to his tail you'll be able to do a big chunk of damage as he goes by now it's just a matter of waiting for him to turn back around and take another pass now we'll have to dodge all of the incoming javelins again you'll see he's launching those out now take you a couple of rolls now be aware you have to get really lucky with the rolls so you probably will take some damage just be prepared for that like I said we're gonna switch our lock on target hit him in the tail on the last one I do try to get a fourth hit here he's just too far away but you can get three hits every time he passes that's gonna make this fight go a lot quicker uh, and make you not have to dodge so many of the javelins now it's worth mentioning that that hollowed out building to our right, you can actually get in there and completely hide from all the projectiles. You can't really hit the boss that well from in there anymore. As you can see here, I wasn't paying attention and took the last hit there. Uh, but you can't really hit the boss that well from in there anymore. But if you need a moment's reprieve, just jump in that hollowed out building and everything will be fine. And just like that, Storm King is down. So we're going to put our Dragon Bone Smasher back on, and now we're going to go see Black's, Black Sitsuki. Go ahead and use your Stone of Ephemeral Eyes. There's no reason not to be human here. Wear your Thief Ring so you also don't pull the Skeleton at the same time. Now, this is a Black Tendency event. You'll have to push your world to Black Tendency to get him to show up. With Satsuki, it's all about spacing and timing. You'll notice he's got a really fast swing. He can get it in, even if you think you've got your timing right. 
so you're going to want to keep him at a certain distance and really try to hit him with the edge of that dragon bone smasher just bat him around like a baseball now he does have a large large supply of grass now i don't know if it's infinite uh, but i know he was able to heal on me about four times before i finally kept the timing right so it's all about getting up on him uh, get him right at that edge of your range and knock him down wait for him to get back up knock him down again you'll see right here I finally get the timing right where he doesn't get a heal off it's just about hitting him every time he stands back up and there we go set Suki down don't forget to grab your hiltless uh, if you enjoyed the video leave a like don't forget to subscribe uh, hit up that comment section down below and join us in the next video where we continue taking on all of the Demon Souls bosses with the Temple Knight class. Thanks for watching.